All right, so we're gonna do the final reveal on our gauges today. We used a Speed Hut gauges, so we use them for all of the gauges. So um, before, as we showed, there was kind of a mishmash of all different gauges and most of them didn't work. So the speedometer did the bouncy thing, the, the uh, main water temperature gauge would read really weird and then when you turn the lights on it would jump like 10 degrees or it would fall like 10 degrees so it we just couldn't trust the gauges and so you know in order to keep this engine healthy and operating correctly we need to know what's going on and so we've actually gone in and replaced every single sensor so the gauges that we did choose are uh, water temperature oil pressure uh, main air pressure uh, transmission temperature uh, one a voltage readout, uh, the speedometer, and then uh, a tachometer, which we added. Um, so this is what they look like. So we've removed the steering wheel because it's a lot easier to see. So we think they came out pretty great. So um, a cool thing about Speed Hut is they let you customize all of the different gauges and so um, we were able to choose the style of the needle, the color, the way they light up, um, how much they sweep. So we like the gauges that sweep all the way around so we chose all gauges that sweep kind of almost all throughout the face and then as well as the ranges and so um, the speedometer is really cool because as you can see in the gray it says Rocinante, and that's what we've decided to name our bus. So we were able to put that in the gauge. So this is the tachometer. So our engine only revs to about 2200 RPM. So uh, 4000 is maybe a little bit of an overkill, but that's the lowest that they had. So Speed Hut was really great to work with. Um, we had to call them a couple times. Um, because uh, they send sensors with their gauges. So all the gauges we got um, with the exclusion of RPM, uh, the tachometer and voltage all came with a, a sensor. So a brand new sensor that that's the one that they recommend to use. Um, the cost was right around $1,100 I think for everything. Um, and the, the speedometer um, is uh, speedometers can be tricky because um, some of them measure on the transmission, some of them have a wheel sensor, um, some of them are on the transfer case. It all depends on where the pickup is. And so on our bus, the pickup is actually on the driver's side front wheel, and there's two wires that come up. And normally you kind of have to do a calculation and determine you know how many times is it spinning per mile and all that stuff and it can be pretty confusing then if you change tire sizes you've got to go back through and calibrate it again if you want an accurate speedometer and odometer so the cool thing about this one is it's GPS so you don't mess with any of that stuff it acquires the satellite um, it it takes about 30 seconds and we also did this hot wire thing where it takes even it takes like five seconds but it takes like 30 seconds um, it'll say acquiring 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 and then it'll have a lock and then it works just like a normal speedometer so as we start going you it, you know it sweeps just like a normal speedometer um, the cool thing about it is because it has a built-in GPS um, you can also there's functions where it'll get the time because there's a timestamp off the GPS satellites um, and it can also get the current altitude so wherever you are you can toggle through the little menus and it will pick up the altitude of where you are um, so we've um, we've tested that before and we will put together a small video showing how it all works kind of in action or whatever um, but we're really happy with the gauges they match we redid the switch panel as well and so we've done the switch panel in the same in the same uh, material. So um, it's all 14 gauge aluminum that we had anodized um, at, a, at, a, at a local shop here. And then the lettering, if you can see the lettering on our on our lights, is actually um, and there's the lettering down here, which is um, what shows what each of the toggle switches does. Um, the lettering was laser etched by a couple ladies who own a business in Tempe, so that's just 
a few miles up the road and they were they were super nice so i looked for a while to try to get we, i went to four different places and they're like we don't we can't do custom stuff like that because we've screwed up so many like one-off pieces of of material that we just we refuse to do them anymore but these ladies took it on and they did a great job so um i would highly recommend them i'll i'll look i'll link uh to their to their shop down below and and the uh, the the uh the anodizer too he was fantastic so one thing we did do um is we prepped both of the surfaces by sanding them with um let's see we sanded with 220 to rough sand it to get all the major scratches out then we bumped it to i believe 400 and then we wet sanded it with i think 800 so we got it as smooth as we possibly could um, just to ensure that the finish was good on it because what had happened is when we took our battery cage to go get powder coated the guy did a great job but we didn't prep that thing at all so we didn't sand it we didn't even remove like we started doing flux core wiring and there was a bunch of splatter and we didn't remove any of that splatter or any of uh, of those things and it didn't turn out as great as it could have been so we learned that lesson like if you're gonna have something coated or you're gonna have something prepped prep the surface as if it's like the final thing as if it's just this is it this is it they're just gonna put color on it and the way it looks is the way it looks and that's what we did with these and they turned out great so um that's what i would recommend so the all right so we've picked up the bus it's um Friday, today's the day we go pick up the bus and start working on it. But I kind of wanted to show the startup procedure, um, sort of what the GPS speedometer does. Um, so it can take up to, I think they said 30 seconds for it to acquire the signal and for it to do, um, you know, its thing to get ready. So I was going to try to capture that on film if I can.
Um, we can, it has a function to do a zero to 60 time. I don't think we'll ever use that. Same with a quarter mile time. And then there's a way to set the odometer, which we will be doing a little bit later. So um, probably not today, but uh, a little bit later. So we can kind of keep track of the original miles from the other speedometer. So we've built up a good amount of air pressure and we're ready to back up now. So we're at just above 90 on the air pressure. I kind of want to show everybody how they look at night. So they are like a blue. So I'm going to start it up here. So it could take up to a minute, I think, or something like that, for it to acquire the satellites. 